Welcome to Music Theory Basics. Today we will be looking at simple and compound time signatures. Do you know the difference? But before we start, we need to know how we will mark our strong beat. For this, we will use the accent sign. So how many strong beats are in different time signatures? Let's take a look at the time signature below. How many strong beats can you see in each bar? That's correct, you can see two strong beats in each bar. Let's take a look at another time signature. How many strong beats do we have in this time signature? That's correct. We also have two strong beats in each bar. Both of these time signatures are examples of duple time signatures. A duple time signature has two strong beats in each bar. What about this time signature? How many strong beats do we have? That's correct, we have three strong beats. Let's look at another one. What about this time signature? That's correct, this time signature also has three strong beats in a bar. Both of these time signatures are examples of triple time signatures, meaning there are three strong beats in each bar. What about this time signature? How many strong beats do we have? That's correct, we have four strong beats in this bar. Let's look at another time signature. How many strong beats are in this time signature? That's correct, this also has Four strong beats. Both of these time signatures are examples of quadruple time signatures. This means that there are four strong beats in each bar. So let's put them in a table. As you can see to the left we have our two examples of duple time signatures 2, 4 and 6, 8. In the middle we have two examples of triple time signatures, 3, 4 and 9, 8. And to the right, we have two examples of quadruple time signatures, 4, 4 and 12, 8. But how does the idea of simple and compound time signatures fit with this? A simple time signature is where every strong beat in the bar can be easily divided into two. A compound time signature is where each strong beat in the bar can be easily divided into three. So let's revisit our two four time signature. Is this a simple or a compound time signature? That's correct, this is a simple time signature because each crotchet beat easily divides into two quavers. Let's visit our 6-8 time signature. Is this a simple or a compound time signature? That's correct, this is a compound time signature. We know it's a duple time signature, but the reason it is a compound time signature is because each strong beat is made up of three quavers. What about this 3-4 time signature? Is this simple or compound?
That's correct. It is simple. Because again, each crotchet beat can easily divide into two quavers. What about this 9-8 time signature? Is this simple or compound? That's correct, this is compound. We know it's a triple time signature because of the three strong beats and each strong beat is made up of three quavers, making it a compound time signature. What about this 4-4 four, four time signature? Simple or compound? That's correct. It is a simple time signature. Again, because each crotchet beat can easily divide into two quavers. And what about our 12-8 time signature? Is this simple or compound? That's correct, it's compound. We already know it's a quadruple time signature and each of those strong beats divides into three quavers. Let's add the word simple and compound to our table that we had earlier. As you can see, to the left we have our duple time signatures, 2, 4 and 6, 8. At the top, 2, 4 is our simple time signature, and at the bottom, 6, 8 is our compound time signature. Same for the triple, 3, 4 is our simple time signature, 9, 8 is our compound time signature. And finally, our quadruple time signatures, 4, 4 is our simple time signature, and 12, 8 is our compound time signature. but there are a few tricky bits to iron out. Is this definitely a duple time signature? Couldn't we write it like this? Unfortunately, if we write it like this, it becomes three, four, which is a simple time signature. As you can see, we have three strong beats in the bar and each of these strong beats divides into two. Doing this gives the piece a different feel and it is no longer in 6-8. And is this definitely a quadruple time signature? Couldn't we write it like this? Unfortunately, no we couldn't. If we write it like this, it becomes a 3-2 time signature, three minim beats in a bar. Again, writing it like, like this gives the piece a different feel. We now have three beats in the bar rather than four. Let's have a look at some more examples. How many strong beats are in this bar? That's correct. There are four strong beats, making it a quadruple time signature. And each minim in this bar easily divides into two crotchets, meaning that this 4-2 time signature is a simple quadruple time signature. What about this 6-4 time signature? Where are the strong beats? That's right. We have two strong beats in a 6-4. Why can't we write it like this? That's correct. If we write it like this, it becomes 3-2, three, 3 minim beats in a bar. But we don't want this, we want 6 
crotchet beats in a bar. Because that is the feel we want to give the piece. Two strong beats in every bar. 6-4 is therefore a duple time signature. And because each beat easily divides into three, it is what we call a compound duple time signature. What about this time signature? How many strong beats do we have here? That's correct, we have three strong beats. This makes this time signature a triple time signature. And because each minim easily divides into two crotchets, this is a simple triple time signature. So let's revisit that table. Now let's add in those new time signatures that we just saw. As you can see, 6-4 goes in our duple column and its compound. 3-2 goes in our triple column and its simple. And 4-2 goes in our quadruple column and this is also simple. Can we add any more? There we go. We can also add 2-2 two, two into the duple column for a simple time signature. 9-4 into the triple column as a compound time signature, and 12-4 into the quadruple column as a compound time signature as well. But what patterns can we see? Take a look at these top notes in the compound time signature columns. As you can see, we have a 6, 9 and 12. If you have this number at the top of your time signature, it is safe to say that this will be a compound time signature. And take a look at the bottom. What did the 8 mean and what did the 4 mean? Remember 8 means quavers and 4 means crotchets. And let's look at our simple time signatures. What do you notice about the top numbers here? That's right, we have twos, threes and fours. If you have this, these numbers at the top, it is safe to say that you have a simple time signature. Let's look at the bottom notes. As you can see, we have fours and twos. Remember, a four at the bottom means crotchets, and a two at the bottom means minims. Thank you so much for visiting Music Basics, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.